Zimbabwe's tobacco farmers are proving that a self-sustainable economy is possible regardless of the Southern African country being under sanctions imposed by the West. This year, the country is expecting a total of 230 billion kgs of tobacco, despite the high increases in prices of fertilizers and other chemicals. Our cost of doing business has gone up yeah. after the sanctions um, uh, imposed on Zimbabwe around early 2000s, uh, late 1990s and into early 2000s. So our tobacco production and output grew by 13% year on year from 2019 into 2020 period. That is after that point of intervention where we promulgated the agriculture and food systems transformation strategy and the agriculture recovery and, uh, and growth plan. So tobacco output that year grew by 13%. Tobacco exports grew by 26%, which was quite, quite uh, incredible. Regardless of the increase in fertilizer and chemical prices across the world, Zimbabwe's young farmers are grateful to the support the country has been receiving from countries like Russia and Belarus. Something that I could have done maybe five Five hectares, for example, that effort, I can now produce maybe 15 hectares because everything is made much more efficient. So we're really grateful for that. And we hope that these bilateral agreements and these bilateral relationships between our country and other countries, not just um, Russia, Belarus and so on, but many other countries come on board, work with us in Zimbabwe. We have so much to offer. We have a new wave of Zimbabweans per se, we have a new wave of farmers who want to achieve more, who want to see our country prosper, and we're ready to put in the work. In 2021, Zimbabwe earned more than 850 million United States dollars in tobacco exports. It will be interesting to see how the country's golden leaf industry will continue in the coming years.